Hey folks, this is Keith at Don Redwood Groves and today we're going to talk about the addition finally. I'm uh, going to give you a little side-by-side -side comparison on uh, my two wood splitters. I have the um, 30 ton from Tractor Supply and I bought a uh, commercial Timberwolf TW5. So let me show you the similarities and the difference and uh, then we'll talk a little bit more about these uh, wood splitters. So I'm not going to talk too much about this one. This is my County Line 30 ton. Um, great machine. Uh, you know, I, it's probably the machine for 95% of the people that do firewood, especially if you're doing just firewood for yourself. Um, I don't care how much you're doing it, but you're doing it for yourself. Um, it's a great machine. Does it have limits? Yes. Is it super fast? No, not really, but it works really good. Um, this here is my new Timberwolf TW5HD. Now this is an old unit. Um, wasn't really on my radar screen, but I got a phone call and said, did I want it? And honestly, the price for this unit, was, what I paid for it was what you have to pay for that 30 ton brand new. And I said, heck yeah, because I'm doing a lot of firewood. So this unit is pretty nice. It has all the bells and whistles. Um, 11 horsepower Honda and um, I bought a four-way for it because it didn't come with a four-way when I got it it should have but somewhere in the sales of its life it disappeared um, I do have a six-way and um, it has a log lift that can lift 500 pounds which is really nice because that has nothing but your back and um, this has a hydraulic lift for the four-way, six-way, and it has also auto return, auto return, so it has the two valves. So you push both valves, it goes all the way in. As soon as it hits that, it clicks back and goes into reverse. So um, much more user-friendly, 30 ton, 25 ton, advertised, advertised. I just was, you start looking at these two compared to each other. This has, um, what's the guy here? Maybe, um, the outside of the cylinder is four and a half inches. That's a tube welded. This thing here, um, about four, I'm going to say four and a half also, but four rods tied. Looks a little bit more massive a little bit more heavy duty this cylinder actually just before i bought it was uh, taken apart and resealed so pretty excited about that um, regular splitter you hold the wood the the wedge uh, moves commercial splitter the frame moves and it goes into the wedge so you don't hold the wood as it splits which then makes you have to get a shelf. Now, let me tell you. Um, notice two shelves. Why? Well, when I first got this machine, I wanted the four-way and I wanted a shelf. I needed new guides. I wanted a sticker system. I wanted to clean this thing, but make it a, a respectable unit, especially for the channel. I got told 34 weeks on the four-way and the shelf. Well, the four-way came in in about six weeks. I'll give you a break on that one. The shelf, first one, 10 weeks, 10 weeks. And they made them all wrong. So two weeks later, I get the second shelf and um, it still doesn't fit perfectly. If you look right here, there's a little bit of a gap there. That should be flat. And uh, I actually cut these wings. You can see I cut about that much piece off to get it to that dimension. And um, I'm going to try running it like that and see how that works. But uh, uh, 12 weeks for a shelf just seems uh, a little, a little long to me. I will tell you, uh, um, customer service seems to be nice. Um, production. Uh, shipping 
Uh, I don't know. I'll leave you a judgment on that based on what I just gave you. Um, would this have been the machine I bought if I was going to go out and buy a new one? No. Um, I was looking at uh, the Eastman made or, uh, you know, t um, different machines. Anyways, another commercial machines, right? Woofridge. Couldn't think of that. Woofridge. Uh, Eastman made or Woof Woofridge. I think their customer service, their parts, they seem to support their uh, existing customers a little better. Uh, Timberwolf, it seems like uh, all they're trying to do is sell new machines. And so spare parts um, fall a bit to the side. Now, maybe the other companies do the same too. I don't know. Um, I don't can't answer that question. All I know is my experience to get the parts that I needed so that I could do this today is took way too long in my mind. So, anyhow, um, I'm still looking very... I'm very excited about using this machine. I think it's going to be fun. I think it'll do exactly what we're looking for. Um, I'm just very excited. I think it'll be a great machine for us. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll see. But what today what we're going to do is um, I'm going to run this out here. I got, some, I got some maple over there. I got some sweet gum rounds over there. I got some just miscellaneous pieces that have been laying around here waiting for this machine to be usable and the way my mind usable um, so we're gonna see what happens with that and get going um, when it because of the log lift and the way it flows, because it kind of flows the same way as the 30 ton county line uh, product kind of goes that way but because I was manually loading it I could use it in my uh, firewood shed over here but firewood shed isn't going to work for the timber wolf if I do it the way I had it before so um, the splits go out that way the log left will be on the other side it really won't be usable it doesn't make sense so I'm gonna run this machine a little bit out here get a feel for it but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that over to here so that I can be standing this way be splitting um, if I stand that way, the splits will fall off this way, actually towards my wood pile if I want. And the, the log lift will be out here, easy and accessible. So I think what I'm doing is I'm going to be cleaning this area up and uh, move that. But we'll see. We'll see. I want to run this a little bit and see where we're at. So um, let's get it in a position, get it warmed up, and let's start running it. Okay, so I kind of got it in a position where I think I want it. Um, I can I know right now this isn't gonna work for long term, but it's what we got So I'm just gonna kind of let it fall in the bucket and I'll probably end up throwing more in the bucket We'll see how that works as we get going along. I got the four-way on I'm gonna work with the four-way to start with I'm gonna try the six-way on a few of these just to see how it works um, And then we're just gonna have a split here and have some fun. So stick with me and uh, we'll see how we get here.
Alrighty. That was 10 minutes. Um, and I got more than a bucket full. It usually took me about 20 minutes um, to do a bucket full um, with the, the uh, county line 30 ton. So definitely a lot faster. Um, four ways nice, seem to like it. Um, log lift works nice. Uh, I wish it was a little bit longer. Um, it really looks like, especially these rounds, two is tops. <coughs> and because I'm trying to split these, and those are still pretty big splits, don't get me wrong, but um, those splits that big, um, you got to pull the halves off, as you can see, that took me a little bit longer to do. But uh, so far, pretty happy with this bad boy. Let's get this stacked. Okay, so I've ran a couple of buckets full on the four-way. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with that. Um, it's definitely different than trying to use the uh, County Line 30 ton, which is a single wedge. You're much more efficient. I've got the six-way on here right now. I've got a couple rounds set up here, staged. Um, we're gonna try doing a couple of the six-way and just see um, see if I like how that splits. Um, I really like the four-way splitting, but. Uh, let's fire this thing up and see how the six-way works. Get a chance to feel that out. not good it's got fuel because I just filled it up I'm not sure why let's take a look and figure that out I think I'm gonna call this the end of the video right now
Um, I'm not thinking I like the six way as much. Gives me two uh, inconsistent parts. So everybody I talk to, they say the six way, it's gotta be for that perfect size round. And uh, maybe these just aren't that perfect size. So we'll see what's going on. Anyhow, if that's it for now, if you like, hey, give me that thumbs up if you haven't subscribed. Um, please hit that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you in the next video. This is Keith Don Redwood Groves. Have a great day.